I will catch you right away. <laughs> Veer, you will have to eat carrots to catch me. Carrots have vitamin A, which is very good for the health. Chanta, uncle. <laughs> uh, why does this always happen to me? Uh, who is it? Who is it who jumped on me? I want to know. Come out now! <laughs> I was just kidding. Why did you take it serious? Uh, who is it? Who is it? <laughs> Grandpa, he's my brother. He lives in America. On his way from the airport, you won't believe it, some goons robbed his luggage. What? What do you mean robbed? What happened? I hired a cab home. I have a hunch that the cab driver had some connection with the robbers. I think they must have hit the driver to create drama so that there is no police action against him. Hmm. Probably the taxi driver must be part of a robber's gang. Uh, uh, will you uh, uh, recognize him if you see him again? Of course, why not? He has a big black mole on his right cheek. I noticed. What? He's a fraud. He's a cheat. I guess uh -huh. all the cab drivers here are cheats. Yes, they are. No, Uncle. Everybody's not a cheat like him. In our culture, we consider guests as gods. Yeah, guest is god, that's what we say. You will see that the cab driver will not only return the luggage, but will also apologize to you. No, that's impossible now. My grandpa always says the one who turns impossible to possible, he is called Veer. Oh, where did that Veer go without telling me? I was thinking of sending him to find that taxi driver for Emily's uncle, but God knows where he is busy playing. Oh, never mind. I'll take Emily's uncle to the airport and find that cab driver myself. Jintu, you take the getup of Grandpa and turn Emily and me into foreigners, okay? Hmm. Chulbul, you stay here 